Our mission is to optimize the quality of life for individuals with autism. That is what we're here to do. Uh, the school was founded in 1924. For many years, it was a boarding school. As time went on, it became a school for children and adults with autism. And we serve children and adults who, for the most part, are pretty severely challenged by autism. We have about 120 or so students here on our main campus, and we also have about 105 adults in our adult program. BEAM, to me, is an amazing opportunity and something I never thought of before. I really wanted to try and find something that would promote some physical activity and movement, um, and the BEAM seemed like a really good option, especially because of all the cause and effect. Some of our students would love to be more active, but they have a hard time with sensory issues. So they may want to go out and play in the leaves because it looks so appealing, but when they touch a leaf, it's painful. It's not just a little scratch that feels kind of dry and okay. It might really hurt or be very uncomfortable. So for some students, they're actually getting physical activity and exercise with BEAM because they don't have to handle any of the increased input, the sensory input, but they can still see that cause and effect of, I kick a leaf, it moves. Ooh. I think that the teachers who work directly with the individuals like having something that's engaging. Remember, engagement can translate into learning and teaching opportunities. For the most part, they all engaged in some type of way that was more than what would have happened if it wasn't here. Families seem to love it, I think, especially for those families whose children have been less than active or less active than they would have liked them to be. Hearing that this is just another thing at Anderson that's an opportunity for their child, I think just helps them feel more comfortable, more relaxed, and, and hopeful. This is so cool! That's all we hear. This is so cool. How come I didn't think of this before, and I've never seen this before.